Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to talk about um, counting cars at traffic signals. So um, the type of detector that I'm using is an induction loop. And you can uh, see this just before the car. There's a uh, 28 turns in the loop and it senses a change of inductance and the metal of the car uh, causes that change of induction. So what we have here is a loop just before the car and just after the car. And in real life, this would be um, at the start of the traffic signals and the um, rear loop would be able to detect the length of the queue. That is how many vehicles are waiting at the stop sign. So this is an extension to my traffic signals projects, but here I'm doing unit tests just uh, on the uh, loop detection function. And uh, the project is about counting vehicles. So I'll go through what the objectives, the hardware, the software, and you can see the results later. So uh, stay are beyond the references and you'll be able to get a demonstration. So the objective here is to use two inductive sensors and these are buried in the road uh, to count vehicles. And I want to determine the count of the vehicles at both sensors. And if a vehicle is stopped, it will indicate to me uh, that um, it's at the stop and it's not moving. And it will also tell me if the queue is filled and perhaps that's time to move on and change the signals. So for the hardware, I'm going to use a small computer, uh, the Arduino Uno computer. And on top of that, I'm going to put a Grove base shield and uh, use a uh, Grove connection to the Grove inductive sensor. And for software, I'm going to use the uh, Arduino IDE and I'm going to um, uh, remix an existing demo from Seed Studio. Uh, Seed Studio supplied me with the um, inductive sensor. And I'll use two libraries. One has been specifically um, written for the inductive sensor. And the other one is a more general purpose maths library. So I'm going to do all the coding and I will create my own variables. So you can actually see on the left the variables that I've um, created for my program. So I'm going to um, go around and detect continuously uh, the state of the induction loop. And I can find if there's any metal present. Uh, on both loops. So after I code it, I'll compile it and download it from my Windows PC, which is hosting the Arduino IDE, and uh, it will go into the uh, Arduino Uno computer. And um, with a bit of, or oh, more than just luck, I expect it will work, but I need to verify that the program is doing what it should. So here's the setup and the uh, continuous loop. So the uh, setup is just um, connecting to the uh, two loop sensors. So there's not much in that um, in that setup. Uh, it's also setting up the uh, USB connection between the Arduino and the um, Windows PC. And in the main loop, I'm uh, looking at the state of channel zero and channel one. Then I go and call uh, two functions, uh, check channel zero and check channel one. And I'll just show you one of those. This is check channel one. And um, I'm determining if um, there's a transition between uh, metal and non-metal 
And if there is a transition, I then do a count. And if that um, period is long, I can also uh, start counting the vehicles. And uh, here are my references. So if you want to uh, learn more about um, traffic detectors, go to the US Department of Transportation and uh, they have a uh, online tutorial and description of loops. Well, thank you for listening. So here I have a um, induction loop sensor, uh, which is part of the traffic signals. And th the induction loop sensor is here and detects any metal object, including this um, metal car. So if I drive over, uh, it will detect that there's a vehicle that's uh, present or a vehicle that's passed through. And um, there's a loop at the start of the intersection and um, at the end of the queue, there's another loop. So we can determine if the queue is full if um, both of those sensors has a vehicle present on it. And the uh, computer that I'm using here is a um, Arduino Uno computer, uh, which is on the bottom here. And on it's um, housing and sitting on top, there's a uh, Arduino Grove Shield. And at the moment, there's only one Grove connection. Um, and that goes to the um, induction loop drivers. And it's um, connected to uh, both loops. So uh, to give you a bit of a, uh, a demonstration of that, what I'll do is um, um, put the vehicle on the loop and you'll see that it's uh, telling the software that it um, has been detected. And uh, if I move it out, there's uh, no more detection. But if I move it to the other loop, right at the traffic lights, you'll see that... Um, it's um, activated again and um, it tells me that the vehicle is stopped right over that loop so here we are and they're the um, same sensors that are used on real traffic signals